everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video of what's the best version of Infinite Warfare. <laughs> So of course with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, there are a lot of versions of the game being so that you can get other different things with it. It just depends on what type of version that you're going to be getting, whether it be the basic or the deluxe or the special edition. And today I'm going to be comparing them all and see which one's the best. Also just as a little disclaimer, I'm only going to be talking about like the legacy edition and things like that. Because if you do not know, with a lot of stores they have a deal. So if let's say you buy from that place, you're going to be getting special things like that. I'm not going to be talking about that. Also the prices I have, it depends on where you're going to buy it. Like I I know if you were to buy off of eBay or maybe Amazon, you might get a little bit cheaper. The price, the prices do fluctuate. Also, this is November 2016, so it's probably going to go down. And with all that out of the way, let's get right to the video. So yeah, now the first one that I'm going to be talking about, that's just going to be the normal version of Infinite Warfare. And this is very standard, of course. It's just the normal version you're going to be getting Infinite Warfare. And the prices for that is that it's going to be $60 US, $80 Canadian, and about 40, maybe 50 pounds in the UK. It's basically Basically, whatever a new game is, just the base game, that's how much it's going to be. And you don't really get too much. You just get Infinite Warfare, and it depends on where you buy it from. You might get something else, but really, that's all you really get with that one. Alright, now the next one, that's going to be the Legacy Edition. And the Legacy Edition goes for about $80 US, £60, and about $110 Canadian. And as you can see, this is a little bit of a step up from the original one. And what it's going to give you is, of course, Infinite Warfare, but this one gives you Modern Warfare Remastered. So basically, Basically, the extra you kind of pay for Modern Warfare Remastered, but other than that, you don't really get any other benefits. Like, you don't get any like special camo, I don't believe, unless you like pre order the game, of course. But the Legacy Edition, you just basically get Modern Warfare Remastered, and that is really good. All right, now let's talk about the Digital Deluxe Edition. That's going to be the last one, and in the US, it goes for about $100 to maybe about $120. It depends on where you're actually going to be getting it. In Canada, it is about $160. I know it's very expensive in Canada and in the UK it's going to go for about 80 pounds maybe you might get it closer to 100 but you know that's how much it's actually going to be and you might be wondering why would I be paying about twice as much as the game for the digital deluxe edition or the special edition if you're actually not buying it digitally now the niche for this one and that is it comes with of course infinite warfare modern warfare remastered as well as the season pass so you basically get everything for infinite warfare modern warfare remastered with the digital deluxe edition or the special edition so yeah now that i laid out everything for all the different versions of the game i'm going to be talking about which one would probably be the best for you all right now the first one that i'm going to be talking about that's just going to be the basic version of infinite warfare now i would recommend that you buy this one if let's say you're just getting into the series you may not like call of duty that much and you may not have as much money and you just want to try it then i would say get the basic version of infinite warfare it's not really too expensive it's as much as let's say any other new any other new call of duty game or any other video game that comes out so i would say if you want to just get into infinite warfare and you might want to just try it out then of course you might want to buy this one also i just want to say something you guys this is all suggestions i'm not saying go out buy these things i'm just giving suggestions so don't take my word and just be like okay i'm gonna buy it because deeper jungle said this i'm pretty sure that there's not going to be too many people doing that just this is just suggestions so make up your own buy before you buy anything i just wanted to clear that up all right now i'm going to be talking about the legacy edition of infinite warfare and what i would recommend is that it's going to be the people that are going to buy this one i would recommend it to people that actually are fans of the series as i said the people that are going to be buying the just the basic version of infinite warfare i would say that would be for people that really aren't fans of the series and they just want to get into the game see how it is and things like that i would say this is for the people that really want to get the full experience of infinite warfare reason being is of course you get modern modern warfare remastered and in my own opinion i think modern warfare remastered is in some cases even better than infinite warfare and i would say buy this version if you actually are a fan of the series because if you are you're gonna want to play modern warfare remastered and you don't want to be stuck thinking oh i wish i bought this version of the game instead of just the base version so that you're gonna have to do some weird stuff maybe like sell the game then have to get the newer version it will just be complicated so i would say buy if you're actually a fan of the series i would say maybe consider by the legacy edition of infinite warfare and at the time we recorded this video there's no other way to get modern warfare 
for remastered other than buying it with the Legacy Edition or the Deluxe Edition of Infinite Warfare. So maybe in the future it might go up so that you can actually buy it independently, but as of me recording this video, you can't. Alright, now the final version of Infinite Warfare that I'm going to be talking about in this video, and that is going to be the Digital Deluxe Edition or the Special Edition of Infinite Warfare. Now, I would only recommend this to people that actually really, really like the series because it's a lot more expensive than just the original version of the game, and unless you really want to get the season pass with it, then I would recommend just go for either the Legacy or the Basic Edition of Infinite Warfare, unless you really think that you're going to want to get the season pass with it, and if that is the case, then yes, I would say buy the Digital Deluxe Edition if you want all the things that are there. So yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to help me get to 200 subscribers. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.